What is up, everybody? Hopefully your quarantine is still going all right. Personally, I am kind of sweating like a mother in here. It's a little toasty. But nonetheless, today I have a story that is probably one of the most disgusting pieces of evidence of fake news that I have seen in a long time. A little background on myself. Hello, my name is Zach Moss. I study U.S. security policy. I eventually want to get my PhD studying these types of things. So when I hear about a story like this, I start to kind of lose my shit. Now, the story was leaked by The Intercept, and that was as of today. Essentially, the story is about the Pentagon in 2019 grossly underrating or underestimating or understating the amount of civilians that were killed in the U.S. war efforts. Now, all my sources in the description box below, I also read the Pentagon report that The Intercept is referencing. So if you guys want to check that out as well, Otherwise, you can trust that I just did my due diligence, considering the fact that I'm posting the sources, so if I'm wrong, it's literally out there. Anyway, before I go into the real figures on the amount of civilians that were killed, which is a representation of the negligence of the U.S. Pentagon, let's just see what The Intercept has to say. Quote, Yesterday, the Pentagon released its annual report on civilian casualties in its wars for the year 2019. According to the report, 132 civilians were killed by the U.S. military in Afghanistan, Iraq, Somalia, and Syria. In Yemen and Libya, countries where the U.S. also carries out airstrikes, the report simply claimed that no civilians were killed last year. Only 132 civilian deaths. Do you guys remember a couple months ago something called the Afghanistan Papers? Essentially, the Washington Post, someone was very sly, was able to, after a three-year legal battle, able to leak 2,000 pages that was created by the Office of the Special Inspector General for the Afghanistan Reconstruction. Essentially, that's just a fancy way of saying there's a federal agency that was put in charge of trying to uncover the corruption and inefficiency in the U.S. war effort. And they found, after testimonies from hundreds of key U.S. officials in the war-making process, especially the individual who was directly in charge of creating the Afghan policy for the Bush and Obama administrations, they found out that they were lying about statistics, specifically civilian deaths and casualties in the war effort in order to spin it and make them look better. And now they're coming out and they're saying that only 132 civilians were killed. Let's look at some comparable facts. According to the UN, in Afghanistan alone, there has been 10,000 casualties a year for the last 10 years. All right. Now, by casualties, what I mean is specifically if we're going to reference 2019, we're talking about 3,403 civilians killed and 6,989 injured. So that's essentially, that's a 9-11 in just 2019 alone. And we are to expect that the United States, as one of the leaders in Afghanistan, that we have nothing to do with that, and that a maximum of 132 civilians were killed, Granted, they said 132 span across multiple countries. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm just kind of calling bullshit on this if you, if you kind of catch my drift on this. Okay, now, to sink in this point a little bit more, let's look into Yemen. Now, since 2015, over 100,000 civilians were killed, or 20,000 a year. The United States gave the Saudi Arabian regime in 2019 an $8 billion weapons deal. And we are to assume that the United States has no blame in the civilian deaths there. Granted, there's been stories about some of the different missiles that were duds. And so in the deserts of Yemen, it's literally dud missiles that say made in the USA. Imagine if this was a murder case. And they said, well, I mean, I didn't kill the guy. I mean, granted, I didn't kill him, but... I just, I just gave the murderer a weapon knowing that he's going to then turn around and then shoot the guy. But that, 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 none of that falls back on me. I don't know about that. I don't, I don't think that's how that works. I'm only bringing this up to prove the point that the Pentagon is the wolf in sheepskin. You guys know that saying or that story? That's this. That's all I wanted to say. 